hi everybody welcome to my channel today i just want to share something very cool with you that i found out that you can do on figma you can convert a png or jpeg or any image file to a vector file and how you can do that is once you open up your figma account go to community search up image tracer and you will see that there's one plugin here and it's created by Dave. Um, if you go check him out, he has a ton of plugins and features that he has created. So go check him out, really cool. But to, for today, we will be using the image tracer. Click try it out. Figma will open up a new board. What you need to do is drag the image that you want into this board. So for example, I have downloaded this image, icons image from FreePick and I want to have a vectorized version of this. Okay. Once you have your image, make sure you click onto it and it's selected. Go to resources, run your image tracer. So you can see that the plugin has already um, traced out the image you can even show options and see what's the threshold you would like threshold meaning like how detailed you want it to um, trace out I would leave it as the default of 100 first you can even adjust the blurness the smoothness the curve optimization and so on but for now I will keep it as it is and click on place trace vector you can see that it's currently on, you can't really see it now, but it's on top. What you need to do is just drag it onto the side. And there you go. This is your vectorized file on the right. Super cool, super easy, and it works like magic. Of course, there are times that they won't be able to trace a 100%, but for flat images like this, they do a pretty good job. Once you have this vectorized version of it, you can export. You can even change out the colors first. But for me, I'm just going to export. So click export. And you can export as an SVG file. They, like for Figma, you have so many options. I'll go for SVG. Click export icons. And there you go. You have your SVG file. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Do let me know in the comments below what other tutorials you would like me to do. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye.